What is going on guys? Garrison with Supreme Drone Services here. Today I'm going to show you how to create an ortho using the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise uh, with the RTK module and um, Terrain Creator Virtual Surveyor for the software. Uh, step number one, you want to make sure you have your uh, base station set up on a nail with known coordinates. You want to start transmitting RTK corrections via in-trip to your Mavic 3 Enterprise drone. Uh, once that is done, you also want to make sure you have your control set on site, which is going to be used during the processing workflow. Um, you also want to make sure you have your route already set up on your controller here for the M3E. Um, here you can see we have our mission already planned, so we are good to go. Make sure you have uh, internet connection on your RC for the M3E so you can receive those RTK corrections. Um, once you check all those boxes, you're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and conduct our flight here and then I'm gonna come back to you on the computer to show you the processing workflow. Peace. What is going on guys? We are back for the processing portion of our uh, creating an ortho with the M3E and Train Creator Virtual Surveyor. So we're gonna open up Train Creator here. Up in the top left, new, and we're gonna create a new project. Uh, there we go. And then in the top left, add photos from JPG. Um, we have our M3E folder here with all of our photos. We're gonna do control A to select them all and then enter. Uh, here you're gonna choose what coordinate system you would like to work in. Uh, we're in 6570-8228. Okay, you can see it has added in our images here and it shows the mission we flew. Very small mission just to show you guys uh, how to use the software. Uh, next step, you want to click add ground points up in the top left. Uh, now we're going to select our control CSV. You can see here we have four GCPs. Uh, so we're actually going to click the mark ground points now and it's going to prepare the project for ground point marking. Okay. So you can see here we have GCP number one, two, three, and four. Uh, so we're gonna, we start with marking one. So we're gonna go in here. You're gonna left click the center of the target and space bar to go next. Left click, space bar, left click, space bar. Uh, after three times, it moves us down to the next GCP. Left click, space bar. And we're gonna do this for all of the GCPs here. And then we're going to do it again. All right, we've done all of them six times. Uh, you can also see the images you've marked for each GCP. So you can click on the different GCPs. The green images are the ones that you've used to mark. Uh, I've done six for each, so I'm cool with that for now. We're going to go ahead and click process photos. Um, to give you guys a little bit of a background on Train Creator Virtual Surveyor. Uh, it's a bundle package. You get both softwares um, for the same monthly or yearly subscription. Um, Terrain Creator, you take your drone images to create your ortho. And then Virtual Surveyor, you can actually draft your line work, uh, create a point grid, um, create your contours. You can do a lot within Virtual Surveyor. We're not gonna get into all of that. This video is just showing you guys how to use Terrain Creator. Um, I'm gonna let this process and then I will be back uh, when it's done. All right, we are back. So you can see here our ortho has been generated. Um, it will show you the RMS, uh, elevation RMS here um, by the GCPs. You can actually zoom in. You wanna make sure with we'll it on 2D view, you wanna make sure that your X's are in the center of your GCPs. Everything looks good. Um, and now we're going to open this in Virtual Surveyor. Okay, uh, you can see we have it open here in Virtual Surveyor. Uh, first thing you wanna do is import your check shots. We're gonna take our check shot CSV here, drag that to the bottom left. Okay, you can see here on the left side, we have our three check shots, which they have also shown up here as these yellow crosses. Um, and then we're going to click on our surface here. 
we're gonna click export checkpoint so we can see here um, we have an RMS of 0.04 feet and an average error of negative 0.03 feet we can actually fix this average error so negative uh, 0.03 feet we're gonna click the surface we're gonna go up here to tools um, and then since it was negative 0.03 feet we're gonna add 0.03 enter and then come back here checkpoints and you can see we fixed the average error here um, looks like the RMS stayed the same 0.03 feet that's good uh, you can toggle off the um, the image just to show the surface uh, there's so much you can do within virtual surveyor we're not going to dive into that I just want to show you guys how to create an ortho using um, train creator if you guys enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up you got any questions leave them down below appreciate you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you next time Peace.